Hello everybody, my name is Panchito, and welcome to Metro Exodus. Now this is a, I believe, a sequel to the last one, which was uh, Metro... I don't remember if it was... I know it was Metro 2033, and then there was Metro... Deluxe, or Deluxe, or something like that. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. All right, so I'll show you the options that I have. What I'm running on: game options, and support, text, video, ultra, full, animation, aspect ratio, quality, ultra, sound, and we, yes, we got. There'll be animals going on. Alright. I played the first game. Uh, this mode is designed for players who feel they're not quite ready for the challenges presented by the world of Metro yet, and would rather just take in the story and atmosphere of the journey undertaken by Atrium and his friends. At this difficulty level, the combat is simplified while ammunition and other essentials are plentiful. Recommendations recommended for FPS novices. Combat will not be too challenging. Ammunition and resources are in plentiful supply. Recommendation for regular FPS players. You will need to closely watch your ammo, filter supplies, and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. Recommended for experienced FPS players. Every encounter pre presents a serious challenge to your skill and tactics. Ammo and resources must be jealous, jealously guarded. Success cannot be guaranteed. This one right here. Makes the game more challenging by turning off targeting Rector Kyle and generally minimizing HUD presence. Limiting players' ammo reserves, increasing combat difficulty, and making the enemies more aware in addition to that. Make players' weapons degrade faster at the same time, making the workbenches they could be fixed upon scarcer. Uh, that, that sounds like it's a pain in the ass. I'd rather not. Let's just go with hardcore. Yes. Alright. Excited to play this game. I played it before. I still remember life before the war. Didn't record right. So I have to start over. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. Looks like while well, that's happening, going into the tunnels, you can either be buried alive or crushed. Look at that, people running for their lives. Fucking securities or armies killing people because they're trying to seek refugee. I would go as far as possibly I could go below. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only fifty thousand managed to survive underground. With the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren or their grandchildren might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth 
for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. I would do exactly the same. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. I like the first game. It was really cool. I didn't get to play the second one, uh, Dusex, or... I don't know what it's... Um... It's like in yellow uh, writing. I didn't have a chance to get it at that point because I didn't have enough cash. And I'm like, um, I'm starting to get my YouTube channel going when it comes to gaming. This is going to be my third game that I played. A little fact about me, I used to play games back in the days when it used to be, I think, 5 minutes per video and then 10 minutes. Per video, and then someone secretly found out how to do the 11 minutes per video, and I started doing it too. So I uploaded a trailer before anybody else could have it, because or anybody else could put it on their channel. It was like movie trailers and stuff. I'd literally be the first one because I was always on it. Guess what? I got banned. Some shit, huh? Whatever. Uh, the the last game that I remember playing was. Uh, and the man uh, was uh, it was a game about a nephilim that uh, it was between a <coughs> demon and a human that had a baby the demon of course was a male and then the, of course the human was a male um, it was just, I, I just remember at the end of that game that the baby baby was like half human, like had like the tannish side of a human would be, and then half one side is uh, black, so it was like half and half. The creature was kind of hard to kill, but I don't remember what that game was called, but it was pretty cool. That was my last game that I've ever done. I had like 20 uploads or 30 uploads, and this was on a 60 kilobyte connection the upload speed. It took me a long time to upload. Ten minutes. <laughs> this game looks really good. Wipey. Get out of here, spiders. Get off me! Physics on the fire. <laughs> like it's being blown away by the air that I'm moving. Man, baby, man. Go for it. More ammo. Yas. Wait, 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 wait. 
Is this gun originally a machine gun? The heck? I didn't actually pay attention to that. I don't know what he, I think it was just <laughs> ran out of ammo or um I said uh, camera and audio weren't working so this is what happened and I have the camera I'm not supposed to have the camera the way it is right now but I'm hoping it doesn't fall so I had to start over Calm down, man. Yeah, freak me out, shit. Oh, 
Where to now? Left across the square. Hey, Damir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself. Da, with <laughs> let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Spartan blood? Yeah, I don't want to drink blood. Unless you're talking about a transfusion. <laughs> transfusion is basically getting compatible blood for you for your body that will work. Like B positive, A positive. Artyom, are you awake? Hello, it's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? Yeah. What if next time you don't return from the surface? Don't worry. There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? Talk to myself already. We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many you times are we going to have this fool. conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. I don't want to go to police. I'm not going to Come, surface. we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Uh, I promise nothing. And also give your dad a sneaker. He's acting like a diva. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Maybe. Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Oh, come on, bruh. It's not bright. You need a sneaker, too? Let me give you half of one. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw the one to help you and fit people down here. <laughs> yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. A hundred times already. You must come back to Polis. Job or no job. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You, you gave us a scare, you? brother. Artyom. How are you, friend? Good. I see you're all right. This calls for yeah, a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are the nurse's hospital, right, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother. Brother. Uh, uh, Dr. Right. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. I knew it. Like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. That voice that says, "Please not replace our last time," kind of sounded like the character from Tsunami. Can't remember the name. One week later. <laughs> More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. 
cawing all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Uh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? Yes. See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. <gasps> Let's go and turn here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Down from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Are you serious? Just from that, ju oh, I'm gonna be dying soon. Hey. Are you serious? I said pick up the pace and you're still over here. Come on, bay. Come on, bay. off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, okay. if all the packs here are like that. How would I want to be in photo mode? Right. I wonder why they are starting to implement photo mode in a lot of games. Yes, uh, Already? Sorry. How about we take a bridge to cross the railroad? 
It would save us a detour. <laughs> Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Traitors, or they're not who she says they are. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Stay away from kids. <laughs> Stay away from drugs, kids. You don't need that shit unless it's fruits and vegetables and healthy living. Oh, 
graphics in this game is nice. I like it. Attention! The turntable is switching on! Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Animals. Exactly, animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? Oh no, bro. A human? How did you? Oh, oh, oh my God! It's you. She's been screaming about. Screaming? And why? What are they doing about her? You came for her. <sighs> All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Okay. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Sneaking to it now? Just stay out of the light, please. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me over me. Like they won't be able to notice a dude crawling around like that. Is it? Stay 
Take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? Oh, you're mad. Yeah. Get there so fast. Wait, wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. Survived in the United States. <laughs> the war is still going on, and you behave like fucking gates. Shut up. All the guards will be here soon. Damn. Don't wait, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. I'm with him. I'm with you. You have to run. 
Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. Silence we must get out before they recover. That's nice. Get ready. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! I want to just shoot my way through it. Let's go! Who are you? The train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Okay. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. On my way to get you. It's on, covering you. <laughs> Just a few bullets and I'm already in. Four minutes ago. Oh, this is stupid.
Flashlights on either. They could notice. Artyom, incoming. Two of them. scarce just like it says in the beginning of the game. So. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. You guys knew that I shot him. Great job. 
With guards, they must be dealt with. Do something about the guards, please. Okay, the guards first. I'm glad to see you here. Glad to see you alive, man. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. Ah. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. Okay. Yeah, and please, be careful. We can Like two bullets for me to die, and they're like four or five. 
okay, whatever. I care if it's on hardcore mode, but come on. This seems well balanced. <laughs> you can die from headshot, but other than that. Shut up! I can't believe this. Just 
you just stuck your heads in with no moves left hans i can't take this line no, now shit, the watchers won't let no me. i won't be quiet what is this jammer for why are they hiding the fact that moscow didn't survive alone there in the ravine there are people from other cities dead all Everyone of them women up. children i'll tell you all later everything gramps what's going on out there down this road the road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, Let's gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related it's to my this call, you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no yes. one behind. Those are friends. If you know that, then who? All right, uh, Spartans, throw these time. overboard and full steam ahead. Come to me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those oh. jammers, and we were Sorry. none the wiser. How perfect of them! Treason! We have served you people without question for years! 
We have spilled our blood for this call! Fire, Felicia! Call down! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
<sighs> now we are not just <laughs> traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. I guess we are. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Let's see about that. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. Okay. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, Tell I him, might girl. as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, yes. rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? Attention. You mentioned the Ark. The What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Area 1-8-5. she is. So the they did a really good job on her face. Uh, Very beautiful. This, this is our goal. Like, I love so, the way her life is. Is like, this what you had in mind? Pretty. Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. 
They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yeah. <laughs> Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, <laughs> just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make yes, ourselves sir. comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah. I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Kampai! <sighs> hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. Alright, we had a round that should be enough. <laughs> You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. <laughs> wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. Alright guys, I'm going to be calling it for this episode for Metro Exodus, which was released, uh, I believe, in February of 2019, and we're basically in May now. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys are here to be on this journey with me on this uh, game that was released a few months ago. I'm going to try to get into these games more as they be as they come to release. The only thing I won't be playing is console uh, releases because I, I just don't like consoles. I used to like them back in the days. But anyways, uh, if you guys go ahead and click on that like, share, and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified when I release a new video. Also, share these videos with anybody you think who might be interested in my entertainment to you guys. Alright guys, if you have any games you would like me to play, let me know. Put them in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Alright guys, my name is Ponchito, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!